During Prohibition, enterprising Americans known as moonshiners found ways to skirt the law and make a living for their families. They used ingenuity to distill alcohol that helped power the Roaring Twenties and later take American minds off the misery of the Great Depression. Today, in a lean context, the creative minds at the Moonshine Lab use a similar problem-solving approach to improve processes and create tools and solutions for the command. The Moonshine Lab is employees helping other employees solve their problems in the shipyard. We build prototypes out of the ideas from people on the waterfront. There are seven locations currently within the command, but Moonshine is more of an idea than a location. It's anywhere where somebody is prototyping or building something to try storm and implement into a process. A place where a person can come in and say, hey, I got an idea, I need, I need help, or um, I got a tool that's not working right and I can actually um, fabricate something and I can create something for that person to where they can, they can do their job better or even safer. The Moonshine Lab uh, helps production, the product line. It's, we work under the radar. If somebody needs a little tool or something to get their job done and we have a consultation with them and if we sounds like a good idea we make it for them we watch them use it see how it works and if it works right or make any changes moonshine lab to me the guy's out there on the waterfront he's working hard doing his job and he's like man there's got to be a better way if only i had this you know that would make my job easier we are the people that are going to get that done for you the command moonshine lab is a place where people are not satisfied with the current conditions. They're, they're wanting to uh, strive for the best by uh, being able to go and try something better and fail fast. See if that doesn't work, move on to the next better thing. Now, the Moonshine Lab, to me, is proof of our personal desire to improve, to always seek out the best of ourselves. And it's proof of this shipyard's dedication to the naval mission that we have. It's the answer to all of the eventual problems that we haven't even come across yet. The type of people that would be good in the Moonshine Lab are people that are not satisfied with the status quo. They're willing to fo follow the requirements and, and the duties of the job because structure is important and uh, uh, we're working with the Navy, lives depend on that. But being able to see that there are better ways to do it. We don't hire specific trades for the trade or specific engineers for their engineering skill. We hire them because they're a problem solver and they just happen to be a welder or they just happen to be an industrial engineer or they just happen to be a carpenter. Somebody who's willing to, uh, within the rules of the shipyard, uh, to challenge those boundaries and say there has to be another way and to try to come to some concepts uh, to answer our, our customers' needs. You really have to be able to um, have good listening skills as well, to listen to what your customer is telling you they need when they don't realize what they need for certain, because it's our job to decipher and kind of help guide them to get them the right solution to their need. You need a, you need a guy that, when he was a kid, had a record set and tinker toys, Legos, you know, kid that tore toys apart instead of played with them most of the time. That's able to think outside the box. That's able to challenge something that's there and come out of it from all angles and not just look at it in one light and give up. Rebels in their own way. They're creative and brilliant and kind and uh, fascinating people that uh, are out there to help their fellow employees. I would say anybody could be successful at Moonshine. You just have to find that, that part of them that fits their skill set, teach them what the expectation is, and then give them the room to grow and discover how it is that they can use their own strengths and weaknesses to contribute to the overall goal of innovation and, and being a, a great moonshiner. Problem solving skills where it's kind of like a can-do attitude, they have that naturally, and it, sh it shows up in their hobbies. It, they might race cars on the weekend. They might run a little farm on the side. They build things. They're very uh, creative and inventive at home. And it's not just something they do at work. Those are the people we try to get on the Moonshine team. Those are the best fits.
The Moonshine program is really critical to our overall strategy of getting the workforce engaged. And it does it by enabling those people to, to realize their potential and use their creativity. Allowing workers to use their own ideas because workers of course know their work area better than, than anybody, they deal with it every day. And when a worker identifies a constraint and they identify a solution for that constraint, they can help their production flow and the workflow progress through their area much more effectively and efficiently because Moonshine works with them to uh, solve the problems of their work constraints. The benefit for having Moonshine for the command, for the Navy, is that we're looking to remove waste, to remove the roadblocks from our customers, which are the workers on the deck plates trying to get the work done, getting these ships back to sea. We're providing a system whereby our employees here in the shipyard can innovate even though they have full-time jobs every day. Moonshine is really where the rubber meets the road. It, it's that physical thing that we can do now instead of just talking about the theoretical, what's possible in the future. We can, we can implement Moonshine now and we can start to engage those people's creativity. We can start to make them feel that they have ownership. If we can't build something for someone on the waterfront, we are able to connect them to somebody that can. The original Moonshine Lab, uh, as best as I can, I can tell would be a blacksmith shop. And uh, bringing it local into more recent history, the first operators of, of what we would call a moonshine lab are the American farmers. Uh, you're talking about a group of people who were constantly facing changing problems, new problems, changing environments, and they had a mission to fulfill. The tractor broke, it had to be fixed. The plow wasn't working correctly, it had to be improved. And so Moonshine provides the infrastructure to help the Navy innovate from the pool of intellect that's already here in our workers and our engineers and our managers and our support folks. It gives them a, a true way to innovate. When I see a crew that's using something that we built at the Moonshine Lab, there's a tremendous sense of pride and, and accomplishment and uh, reward that they're out there using that and it's working for them and, and they're happy with it. We are doing something worthwhile here in the shipyard. We're improving the human condition. We're making things safer. We're doing them right the first time. We're doing them a lot more productively. And really that's what our jobs are all about because eventually, the money that we can save here, or the time that we can save, results in an aircraft carrier getting out on patrol on time, or a submarine being out on patrol on time. Well, you get a good feeling when you help the ship get everything back together when they need something, or the people working on the deck plates need something, and you make it, and it works, and, and they're happy, and we're happy. And, it's, and you always look at it when you walk by it again and see how everything looks. It's, it's a good feeling. I'm proud of what I do at the end of the day, but um, I think for me when I see something in use on the waterfront that I did some time ago, um, it's more of an amazement to me that something I did has, has hung around that long or is still, you know, has a purpose. The most um rewarding thing about my job is that I'm excited every day to come to work because I get to help people um, improve their work environment and it makes a difference um, and that makes me feel fulfilled inside that I am doing something to better someone else's life and I get to do that every day. Not everyone can do that. Uh, there's, there's no uh, money back on my job. I'm a non-value add guy. I don't turn any bolts. I don't turn any wrenches on board those ships. But when those guys can get their jobs done and uh, we can see that uh, ship sailing out of here on time, uh, that's, that's the, the best thing. I'm a small part of a big cultural change that allows us to continue to fulfill our missions with fewer and fewer resources, with tighter and tighter budgets, yet we exceed the strategic goals and the tactical goals from last year or the year before, becoming more efficient and more powerful and making our influence felt across the world. I love walking through the yard, seeing what I've built, um, something that's all greasy, know that they used it, and it's just there's no greater feeling to see that, hey, something I built is making something easier for somebody else. I found something that played to my strengths, and now I'm helping and encouraging other people 
who haven't always been encouraged to be creative or haven't always been empowered to be able to, to do things that were innovative or creative within their processes. Now I'm helping them to do that. I take a great deal of pride in that. Serving the needs of our folks that are in harm's way anywhere on the planet. And to me, that is the most uh, patriotic thing we can do as managers here. You don't have to be part of 1000 PI. You don't have to be part of the Moonshine team, but always looking for a better way to do things, to serve our country better, uh, to me, there's no higher calling. Thank you.